super quick garden tour because I am in that messy August season where we have green beans, weeds, squash, weeds, tomatoes, weeds, uh, more squash. We got more green beans up here. They were kind of getting decimated by uh, squash beetles. And I put some diatomaceous earth all over it, some DE, and now they are starting to explode. Right underneath our bee balm. If you do not grow bee balm, you totally should. It's amazing. I love it for teas. I love it for... Um, it's like a spicy oregano. We've got <laughs> Cosmos. Uh, some right over there. You can kind of see it over there. Some more uh, cabbages, huge kale, more squash, uh, more squash. Over there, some ground cherries. We got more kale, lots of kale. That's all kale right there. Here, okay, we'll just walk over here. Let's just do that. Kale, and to like put it in perspective, I mean, this one leaf, this is huge. Kale, I got comfrey. Our one squash plant's kind of dying off, but luckily we do succession planting, so we got a lot. We got lemon balm. We got tons of, what is this called again? I cannot think of what this is called. I know if you garden, I cannot think of what that's called. Okay, okay, moving on. We're going to go ahead and go to our radish seed pods. If you like radishes, I really, really suggest that you grab, you grow them for their seed pods. They are so amazing. So instead of getting one root vegetable, which is great, you get, I mean, tons, tons and tons and tons. These are the uh, dragon tail seed pods of edible num nums. So, yep, this is my really unofficial garden tour we got more maters transplanted a bunch of stuff over there we got potatoes pumpkin I'm trying to think what else we have while i'm eating okay that's really it. i'm trying to do a really quick update but i'm gonna also tell you why we love our chickens hi chicks -ch 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 hi babies I really would encourage anyone, if you're able to do it, you know, check out your city's municipal codes or whatever, your HOA, like we live in, um, if you can have them or not. But backyard chickens are literally the best. We let ours out for a couple hours a day. This is their, their coop at night, their pen that they hang out most of the day, and then we let them free roam the yard. Hi, babies. Hi, babies. <laughs> He's about to attack me. That's the rooster. He's a good rooster. He does his job well. <laughs> He's not necessarily the nicest sometimes, so I'm going to keep my distance. But They do so much work around the yard for you. They will help with your bug infestations. <laughs> they will eat any of your scraps so you're not putting things into the landfill that don't need to be there. Hi, babies. Hi, ch -ch -ch chicks. <laughs> Not to mention you get eggs. We do harvest ours for meat as well. There, I just, I would encourage everyone, just start with three chickens. Oh, the ducks are in there. They don't feel like coming out. Oh no, he's coming. He's coming. He's gonna chase me. Okay. <laughs> he's warning me. He said, don't you do it. I would really encourage anyone to get backyard chickens. Again, you don't need as many as we have. Just for them to be such a a useful worker on your homestead and on your journey to sustainability. So that's the end of my really jankety quick update. And uh, I hope everyone's having a good, good start of August. And if your kids are going back to school, send in love to all those kiddos.